the Square Mile, it's also known as the City of London. It is an area in the center of the city which has become an affluent hub of finance and business in London. Some of its most notorious buildings are the Bank of England, Mansion House, Guildhall, St. Lawrence Jury, Museum of London, the Monument and St. Paul's Cathedral. The City of London also has a deep and eventful history, from the Great Fire of London in 1666 to the Jack the Ripper murders in 1888 to the funeral of Sir Winston Churchill in 1965. The Square Mile has evolved from ancient beginnings to one of the most culturally and financially distinct places globally, attracting millions of tourists every year. Advancements in politics, technology, social justice and business operations help the City of London evolve into one of the most important areas in the country. In the year 43, following an invasion led by the Roman Emperor Claudius, the Romans founded the town of Londinium, the Roman name for London, on the banks of the river Thames. The Romans saw the river as a quick way to transport goods between Britain and the continent. The Romans built major structures in Londinium including temples, Roman baths, a basilica for meetings and a governor's palace. Some remnants of Roman London can still be seen today, including sections of the Roman wall at Tower Hill, the Barbican Estate, and on the grounds of the Museum of London. The Romans ruled until the 5th century, when the empire fell. At its peak, Londinium had a population of up to 60,000 people, and for 300 years it was the largest city in what is now known as Great Britain. During the 9th century, the town received numerous Viking attacks and Danish settlers established themselves in the area, encouraging trade and opening businesses. As a result, the town became the first urban center of England. In the year 1067, the newly crowned King of England, William Duke of Normandy, established the city's existing rights, laws and privileges. Over a century later, King John reinforced the city's self-government, and a few years after that, the city could elect a different major every year. For many years, England had no capital city. However, the institutions of central government were moved to Westminster, close to London. This and the rise of trade in the area were two decisive factors in London's emergence as the capital of England. By the 17th century, the city was still held inside the ancient walls and it was increasing in population and importance. Unfortunately, in 1665, the population's poor living conditions led to the Great Plague, killing 70,000 people. And the following year, in 1666, the Great Fire of London destroyed most of the city. The reconstruction of London, based on the area we now call the city, took over 10 years to finish. Architect Christopher Renz created masterpieces such as St. Paul's Cathedral, which increased the appeal of London, and thus the capital became the centre of English social life, with palaces, halls, theatres, societies like the Royal Society, and museums such as the British Museum. London continued to grow thanks to the foundation of the Bank of England in 1694, providing financial flexibility, and it has maintained since then prominence as a financial centre.